So if you remember when this MCI came in uh, about a week and a half ago, it was just here for a lube job, that was it. And then we noticed all kinds of issues that needed immediate attention to it. The air brake system was in very, very poor shape. Uh, the rear brakes weren't working. Uh, they had blown out diaphragms on, on both the service brakes and the parking brakes. Uh, it had major air leaks. It had an oil seal leak, wheel seal leak uh, on one of the brake drums. It was just, it needed some serious attention. Some bad radius rod bushings. The uh, rear axle was not in alignment because the radius rods were so worn. So we had a whole bunch of work to it. We're getting ready to take it on test drive here and uh, see how it handles. Cold start in the morning here. We're going to go on our test drive. Air operated footrest. Yeah, made it a little easier. Something not tied down. <laughs> what was that? Sounded like a potter pan. <laughs> that was just the trouble board in the pan on the side of my head. Just remember the brakes are going to be a little bit more touchy than what you're used to. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> it's so pretty down here. Just go down around the courthouse and back. Okay. I want to give a little, if there's nobody behind you, give a little test on the brakes here, just get a feel for them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot more behind that, but yeah, you would have threw yeah. everything in the bus. Yeah, it stops, it slows a lot, but a lot better now. <clears throat> Yeah, everything that's not tied down will end up here on the floor if you really get on it. <laughs> I had my refrigerator door come open one day, I forgot to latch it. <laughs> everything in the fridge came out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 
Yeah, yours is facing forward too. Yep. Isn't it? Yep. Even the drawers came out and slid all the way forward. <laughs> Feel good? Oh yeah. Nice and tight. <laughs> well your bus is much safer to drive now though. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. For finding all the things that I thought were <laughs> taken care of before I came. So if you do that little air brake test every day before you go somewhere, watch how fast your air pressure is leaking off mm -hmm. and then hold your foot on the brake and make sure it's not losing air. That's that's the big concern that this that's part of the braking system itself is leaking while the brakes are applied. Okay. Because then that limits the amount of time you can have the brakes on. But if you just Google uh, DOT air brake pre-trip test, mm -hmm. you'll have all the steps on what to do and make sure that your low air alarm buzzer works mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. It's all just for safety. You ever heard of a Pepfo valve? Pepfo, it's a waterless P trap. And you can put that under your sinks and in your bathroom and under your shower and stuff like that. Ah. And then you'll never have the sewer gas smell when you start driving. Nice. Because the P traps won't clear out. It's basically like a flat tube. Okay. Water can flow through one way, and then when there's no water in it, it lays flat and seals it off. It's like a little duckbill thing. Okay. And it goes, it's it's a P trap, so the gases can't come out. Water flows through it only one way. Nice. Because you've been sitting, sitting for a week using your blast t black tank, and sometimes you get that sewer gas smell mm -hmm. when you drive. Yeah. So That's been an issue since we've. I, every custom bus. coach has that. I've never been in one that doesn't. But that's the, the P traps sloshing around. Mm -hmm. P traps work great in a house right. that doesn't move. But when once you go driving down the road, the water, that, the way they work, is that water stays in that yep. little cup. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful bus. Thank you. Thank the craftsman from 40 years ago that built this. Yes. Uh, custom coach, they were so amazing at what they did. And I hate that they're, I guess they are technically still around, but they're not making buses anymore, so another company bought them and... Correct. Uh, they're actually branding some Sprinter oh. size vehicles under the custom coach name now, but yeah, they don't... Are they doing real good, high quality work on them? Oh, yeah. Good. We, we saw one last... Uh, custom coach rally we went there and there was a uh, one being built for 
some guy to use to drive back and forth from the port. He keeps it on his yacht so he can drive in town when uh, he goes somewhere. <laughs> He's got the money. That's awesome. First time we turned onto this road, I was like, this is the most beautiful road in the world. Just the way the canopy hangs over the road. And the... It is. It's gorgeous out here. I every single time I drive through it. Coming to a bus resort. Yes. <laughs> Someday we'll have amenities. <laughs> just in the last year. Propane? <laughs> sure. Turn around here. Okay. It's going to be the easiest. <laughs> oh yeah. No, that's our. our and right now, our bus. We're moving all kinds of stuff from the house down here. So we got stuff like all of our pictures and that kind of stuff. We're trying to store in the bus so it's not in a. We don't just put it out in the shed where the temperature is not controlled. I don't know how many custom coaches I've seen with the side galley like that, where it curves back around. Mm -hmm. Let me turn the lights on for you a little bit. And they were so good. Is there a hall light or? Everything's got that kind of suede type on it, right? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. I don't want to touch it because even though I think I'm clean this morning, <laughs> I'm never fully clean. Welcome to our bus. Yeah, it is beautiful. Awesome. Well, I'm so happy. Okay. All right. Let me 
get the dashboard okay. instrument panel here. It's all very, very stock layout. And this was never in revenue service. It's always been an RV. And very, very low miles on it, and it, it really shows. This is one of the flashlights on sale at Olight. Um, I have the same version uh, that I use that is in orange, but this purple one's really cool. Uh, 166 meters of throw and a maximum of 2,500 lumens. And because the light comes out of the side instead of the end of the flashlight, you can also get the headband, uh, the headband too for it. So you can wear it on your head as a headlight. It is super bright. It's got a few different settings. If you hold down the light, it gets brighter. But again, 2,500 lumens on it is really good. Easy to turn on and off. It's got the clip on it. It's lightweight, rechargeable lithium I just this is a really good flashlight and the the headlight feature of it is, is really the key benefit to it um, or I suppose you could clip it on your shirt or something if you're walking a trail or something because it shines forward and it has that magnetic charger on the bottom like the, all the other O lights comes in really handy but, uh, the purple color really cool Tyler wants this one this is the warrior 3 um, it's dual switch tactical flashlight. Comes with the carrying case there for the belt. Um, also comes with the clip on it. It has the status and the battery power and brightness status switch on it. So I can see it. I have to my hand this a bit. You can see how the battery is fully charged there. And then it's in remote brightness one right there. Two. So that's neat that it shows you. They don't blink in real life. That's just the camera catching it like that. Um, and then you can also turn it on and off. That's the full brightness, the four. So two switches on it. You can break glass with the end of it. Rechargeable lithium. It's a really cool flashlight. It's very bright. Uh, 2300 max lumens, 300 meters of throw. Check out the Olight sale.